Right, all well, here we are up the cabin. Um, I'm not going to do this today. I'm going to do a small video for you, very tiny. But I've got the pump here. I've worked it out that virtually, to be honest with you, with the lead, what I've done, it, I measured it outside. So I want the plug to go into the inverter, which will be down here or on the wall. Depends where I want to put it. Around the corner. And the shower will be placed, well, the head here. But I need a switch. So I bought an inline waterproof switch. So I'm going to wire that up now for you and uh, show you how I'm going to do it. So I've got to cut the cable, which is fine. I've got no problems with that. And uh, I'll set the switch up and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so this is my... Um, I don't know if I can peel that. I can't see any more on that. That's what it looks like. Let me take that off for you. It's a pro inline... There we go, rewirable switch. I know it says here, re re reset and test, but they said that's fine. I got it from, I'll I'll put a link in the description where I didn't get it off eBay. Um, well, there you go. Pretty straightforward. So I'm going to use this to power the shower. Well, to switch the shower on and off. So I'll get him out. Pretty straightforward. I used to be an electrician when I left school. That doesn't mean I'm qualified. I'm just saying I used to be an electrician. There you go. Sealed. The two these come off, you can see the sealant round them. You got the little packet on the floor, I'll show you that in a second. Same this side. So you feed your wire through and then once you've cut it, and then you've got negative positive in earth, that's exactly the same this end. So all you do is just is actually vid physically cutting the cable and putting the switch in between. That's virtually it. So I'll wire this and show you that. So so we'll have the load coming in, or the line, whatever you, whichever way you want to do, going to the load. So it'll be the line coming in from the inverter, going out to the load, which will be the pump. Right, let's get let's get wired and cut this wire. So bear with me, because I've got the bare essential tools up here. Because we're at the cabin. There we go, three core flex. So I'm just going to get, I'll put one down for now, get my knife, two seconds, just, just to show you if you're not au fait with it. I mean, if you've got to do something, the electrician to do it, you do it, but I'm quite, quite, I'm au fait with this. So it says like 25 mil, cut back the sheath. If you want more than that, you'll want, if it's 10 mil here, so you want 35, 30 mil, no, 35 mil, yeah, 35 mil, and then allow a bit at the end sometimes i fold mine over but it and sometimes what i do as well i could solder the ends but like i said i'm in the cabin so not gonna happen so what i'm gonna do is just gently just score the outer sheath just this is i know it's not the right tool i'm just gently scoring the out i don't want to cut through it and then if you bend it you'll see that the, the rubber will start to split you can see that if it's in focus Just gently. Rain focus there. This is awkward. This is not a very good light. And there we go. She's starting to go. And if you cock up, start again. Well, plenty of wire so don't worry if you go through and break the wire which i might have done i think there yeah i'll cut that and i'll start again i've not got the right tools here okay what i'll do i'll come back to you in a second because i'm struggling holding it and cutting it and showing the camera but you've got the rough idea so i'll show you one when i've finished it okay that's all i'm doing And then you should pull it off. There you go. Sorry. Come on, focus. It's, it's getting difficult because the light's fading as well a bit. There we go. So, that's your earth. 
negative it's your positive or your live so live neutral and ground or earth depending which country you're in and how you do it okay so i'll cut these back a bit now usually use my teeth because i've got quite a good gappy tooth on the one side which just gets it right i'm going to show you doing that but just to prove you listen <laughs> that's me <laughs> there you go so i just use my teeth they are mine i've not i've not borrowed these teeth by the way they do belong to me so i just screw the ends make night and then we'll start on by putting them in the switch okay so I take the end off and in there so I'll leave that for a second what you need to do then you need to slide this down because inside here is a grip and a piece of rubber so that goes down like that first no it doesn't sorry the cap goes on first like so just let it go it doesn't matter and then this goes over the top like so and now we'll connect it to the switch slide him through Let's grab him for now grab a screwdriver give me a second but I don't know if you can see that close up. Uh, can I get the light on that? I'll show you. I'll get a torch on that. Live, neutral, earth in the middle. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can hold this and show you at the same time. Anyway, you just undo them, and they're just crush pads. If that makes, if that's what you want to call them. So it's a little pad with a screw on, and as you put the wire in, it just crushes the wire down. I'll show you in a second when it's done, okay? Okay, I've come outside because we're losing the light a little bit. So, there's your live. Live. Earth in the middle. Neutral. And what I mean by a crush pad is you've only got a crush pad. You've got a little section here. I'm not telling you what to do, you do how you want to do it. I'm just saying it's what I'm doing. So I've got a little section here which the wire pokes through. You cut your 10 centimeters, which is just enough that fits inside. Bingo. In it goes. So I'll do the other two now as well. Okay. Let's get the light right. There you go. Okay, and don't forget this is going to the load. So this is going to the pump. So you've got to remember that. So. That's what we're doing it that way around. This over to the pump. Next, what we do, we bring up the other bit. Bear with me, sorry. A few seconds. If you can see that, trying to get in focus for you. Right. So I've now brought the spare cable up, tucked them all inside. Like so, so there's enough just coming through, then tighten this up and that'll squeeze in and hold the rubber in. So make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, so that stops it from pulling out, and now we'll put the bridge across. And I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, put the bridge across. Now, if, if I'm wrong and they should be just straight in, well. It did tell me to cut 10 centimeters and at uh, 25 mil and 10 mil so so put the bridge across screw that down nice and tight and the last thing is put the cap on and there we go and i'll put the screws in so it comes with all the screws and the bridges and everything else sorry i've got screws in my mouth Two, three, and I'll drop one on the floor. Anyway, so I'll carry on do the other one and I'll show you when I've finished all together. Just to clarify, I did put the other one on wrong so I had to rewire it, so I'm not going to bull. So that way round, okay? So cap on first, this second, this will squeeze up and then it'll, it'll tighten up and then that seals in there. 
Okay, that's it. That's the other side done. If you squeeze that up, tighten that up tight enough, it squeezes and pushes out. That's nice and tight. And what I do is push the cables through, hold it in position before I put the bridge across. Get that in focus. Yeah, so hold this in position before I put the bridge across. Push it till it's lined up to the end. Tighten that up. That keeps the cable in position and then put the bridge across afterwards. And that's it. We'll be testing this sometime tomorrow, hopefully with a bit of luck. So I'll put the cap on. Four screws. And that's it. If you enjoyed the vid or it's helpful, this is an inline switch to go with the portable shower in the cabin, hopefully give it a test to make sure that it is I want to show you that it is totally totally portable I just put myself in the cheek with a screwdriver so be careful that one I dropped another screw and that's it if you enjoyed the vid give it a thumbs up thanks for watching um, subscribe your buttons over there and if you bring the notification bell any other videos coming up you'll be notified and any other new videos will be over this side take care catch you in the next one bye